Gunderson versus Lausanne, the tail of the tape brought to you by Boost Mobile, be heard. 34 to 25, 5, 9 to 6 feet, the advantage there to Lausanne. And there you see the one and a half pound weight advantage to Dan Lausanne as we set it inside the cage for the official introduction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this battle of the lightweight schedule for three five minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist started his MMA career at a young age of 18. His record, 16 wins and four losses, nine by way of knockout. At five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 156 pounds. Trading at Reality Self-Defense, he's here tonight in Las Vegas from East Bridgewater, Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan, the Upgrade Lazar. His opponent fighting opposite the cage in the red corner, trained as a boxer, a complete mixed martial artist with a veteran career record of 34 wins, 14 losses, two draws. At five feet, nine inches tall, he weighed in at fight time at 154 and one half pounds. Training at Syndicate MMA right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, here is John Guns Gunderson. The referee for this contest, Chris Tyone. Yeah, I always think that they should add also the submission victories because he says nine knockouts, yeah, but also seven uh, submissions. <laughs> so here we go, three rounds scheduled in the lightweight division, Gunderson and Lausanne. And again, we have a southpaw versus an orthodox. It seems the theme of the evening. Dan Lozon, the younger brother of the UFC's Joe Lozon. He was the youngest UFC fighter coming and getting a fight at 18 years of age. Man, look. Looks like one of the Diaz brothers. Flying knee. That was really well timed. He's just getting back up. He's stalking his opponent. Boom! Left shin kick. Because Gunderson just moved forward, so instead of the foot, he connected with the shin. Gunderson didn't even flinch. Nope. This is what Gunderson wants. You know, like I said, he's scrappy. He's scrappy, and he's got so many victories by way of submission. 27 submissions. Man, he's been there. A lot of fights. What is it? You talk about not being able to replicate the battles that he's been in in the gym. This is exactly what we're talking about here. 34, 14, and 2. Yep. That's 50 fights there. Coming up in Ray Seppo territory. <laughs> yeah. Just throws him to the ground. Wow. This is dominating. Yeah. Dan Lozon has certainly taken control of this cage, and John Guns Gunderson right now is looking for an answer, just to seem, seems to be frustrated and out of sync. You know, Lazan is stuck, is doing what I always say, the distance, he's got the correct distance. He keeps him just at the end of his punches. That knee was very well timed that he threw right yep. at the bed. You think Gunderson's still rocked by that? No, it didn't look like it, and then that kick came, and still. He wasn't, he didn't look rocked. Look, a nice sweep there, pulling the legs he out. He does have good takedowns. Oh, there we go. And Lozon just hops right back up. Yeah, that household there with his brother, <laughs> they've been fighting also their whole lives before they even started in MMA. Yeah, if you're a burglar, you want to stay away from the uh, Lozon household. <laughs> The reach of Dan Lozon really has given John Gunderson problems here in round number one as we go under two and a half minutes to go. This was scheduled for three, and that was a heavy, heavy body shot. That's the spleen there located. Nice left to the head there as well. Nice, Gunderson snapping off a high kick. Yeah, he said, oh, you hit my spleen, I'll kick yours. He's now looking you. into that punch yeah, the whole time. Exactly right. You could say it's a timing issue, but Dan Lozon is having no problem assaulting him with left and the right. And that was Ooh. a low kick, and Lozon and says, angry. I don't care, let's just go. Okay, that's tough. It's, it's very tough. 
Like, except for some reason, it looks like the Diaz brothers here, yeah, right? Exactly. He got, like just he got kicked in the nether region, and he says, let's just shake it off and roll. Yeah. Because he knows, I think, one punch came through once John was, you know, covering up. I think he felt that punch that was thrown just before that. We really haven't even seen this it's, thing go to the ground because both these guys have good submissions, but this thing looks like it's going to be a striking war. Heavy leather being thrown by Dan Lozon, just throwing Gunderson to the canvas. He's in a bad place right now. Gunderson, two big shots to the side of the head. And you see, again, he keeps him at the end of his punches. His, his distance is great. Yeah. Lozon controlling those up kicks from Gunderson, measured with his punches, no wasted energy. Also doesn't get careless. There's a left straight spleen shot. Boy, if you're Gunderson's corner, you just want your fighter to get through this first round, yep. get into the chair, cool him down, get him some water, and try to reassess what you're going to do in round number two, because round number one, not working for him. Lausanne, when he starts realizing that Gunderson, when he covers up, his elbows are separated, so that's asking for an uppercut, for a left uppercut. He has to watch out for that. Final 20 seconds of round number one. This close. one dominated by Dan, the upgrade Lausanne at 16 and four with nine TKOs, looking to get his 10th tonight. But John Gunderson showing a little bit of life here with the final 10 seconds. You know, Manhoof Lawler, that's all I say. Lawler pulled the knockout off at the end, you know, so it's never over when it's over, till it's over. That has to be demoralizing. Let's look at the highlight reel from Lausanne here. The Dan Lausanne right. highlight reel? Yeah, boom, there's the flying knee. <laughs> Man, look, pulls it out. It's probably the shin kick here. Oh, strike, body shot, boom, so hard. There's that uppercut, but he needs to position himself better for this. Look at this. There's the uppercut. He changed the angle while he was punching it. That's crazy. Round number two, John Gunderson in the red trunks, Dan Lausanne in the gray trunks. Round number one, clearly in the corner of the upgrade, Dan Lausanne. But John Gunderson, you give him a lot of credit. He took some heavy, heavy leather there in round number one, but came back with a little spark to end the first round. He comes with a nice little uppercut. Yeah, you know, it's like I said, you know, the fight between Manu and Lawler, Manu was killing him for two and a half rounds and then one punch. Boom, and the fight was over. So Gunderson is one of those guys who can take all that punishment and just wait for one moment and then he can shine. Are you surprised that Lausanne, once he gets Gunderson on the ground, is just allowing him just to sit back up and get it back to striking because he's having so much success? I mean, why? Well, he thinks about those 27 submission victories from uh, Gunderson. Look at this. Now he's getting close with those high kicks. Yeah. You see? He just doesn't want to take the risk. He can't go to the ground because there's sure. a lot of submission victories, but he says, why would I? Undefeated, I'm doing so great. Don't follow the Cobra into the snake hole, and it's working as a striking game right now for Dan Lausanne. Exactly, but he's got to watch out because Gunderson every time gets a little closer with the striking. Oh. Oh, to the body. Oh, he kicked an elbow there as well. Small cut under the right eye of John Gunderson. Nice movement there by Lazon again when he moved backwards, planted two feet, and then he threw that right hook. Gunderson has that quick combination there. he's trying to bring in, but the reach once again, Dan Lozon measuring it up. Ooh. Looking for the big elbow. Just went through the fence. Yeah, flying knee from Gunderson and just thrown to the canvas by Lozon. Yeah, but he can now can he grab his eyes already out? I want to say he didn't have his hands locked. So it's gonna be very hard to lock those. Especially against a guy like Lazon. You see what he's doing? Push him up against the fence. 
puts his head up, which is going to be very hard for him to throw his leg backwards to go for submission attempts. Look at those punches. That is not a good place to be on the receiving end of a Dan Lozon wound up right and left. Way to tell he was standing. Heat behind those. Yeah. And again, I, I say this all the whole time, it's his distance, it's yep. so good. You know, he's got the longer reach, but he's using it very well. I'm always amazed to see that because you would think that everybody would do that, but they don't. So then when I do see it, I uh, really appreciate that. He should throw a, a, a right hook with a left uppercut once he's got guns, uh, guns against the fence. Gun setting up his big right hand with the uppercut. She throw clothesline guns. Big right hand clothesline. Oh. As hard as she can on the defense, doesn't matter. They came together and the knee came up from Gunderson. And that's probably the second or third time Lausanne has been shot down low. And time back on. Game on. <laughs> you can get some points for that. Three times and he just keeps going. There we Gunderson go. Trying to go with the feint. You see, but he's coming closer. Oh, nice. Good combination there. Ooh. Wow, he's looking for that uppercut. He switched stands first so he can get underneath. That elbow that he threw, that left elbow. If you do a left elbow, go back, left uppercut. That's a good combination as well. It's Dan Lozon out of East Bridgewater, Mass. That's doing the damage here once again. John Gunderson trying to find a way to get inside that reach of Lozon and score some points. And no clue why he puts his back against the fence. You know, you should try to avoid that against the guy with a bigger reach. Put a him against the fence. Oh, there big left from Gunderson there. Yep. Find some success. And again, Lozon happy to get this thing back on its feet as we go under 52 seconds here in the second round. Low shot there from Lozon, and Gunderson answers with a nice combination. Yeah, Lozon won his last four fights, three knockouts, one submission. He's on the roll. Well, this is a puzzle for John Guns Gunderson. He's got to find a way to solve the Rubik's Cube that is Dan Lozon. And he's turning slowly but surely, coming closer every time. That's it, movement. You see, now he's doing it. Don't put you back against the fence. Final 10 seconds here, round number two. It looks like we will see a third and final round here in the lightweight division. Great action from round number two. And there is the low shot that really put Dan Lozon in some discomfort. He goes, really, dude, again. Boom, nice knee there. Ooh. Beautifully just reversed in the, in, in the takedown. It was, uh, he took it and took him down. <laughs> Third and final round here from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino World Series of Fighting Three. John Gunn Gunderson in the red trunks, Dan the Upgrade Lausanne in the gray. Switching stance now, Lausanne is. Boy, Lausanne still looks fresh, doesn't he? Looks like he the does. first round. Yep. Feeling, feeling, put him at the end of the shots and then load up for that big left. 
tap, 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 boom, there it is, see? Finding the mark, she's finding the mark. As soon as she starts tapping, Gunderson should attack. Can't let him in his game. Keep hitting. Cross who cross. Da, da, da. Henderson probably hasn't had the success he wanted in the striking game. If you're in his corner, you try to tell him, get Lausanne to the ground? Yeah, you, you, but he, he stuffs the takedown so easy. You know you got to lure him in. I think for a big strike, I would that overhand right, like the big clothesline. A lot of people don't use it. It's very effective, and I have no clue why they don't use it. Because you're going to hit kind of the back of the head with it. Not really the back, so it's still a legal punch. But at that moment of impact, nobody's ready for that kind of punch. Everybody's ready for impact from the front, from the side, not when it comes backwards. And you need all the space you can get yeah. against a guy like, like Razon, so then big swings, like big clotheslines, are very effective. Left straight to the body, big clothesline with the right to the head. Now again, and this is what you're talking about. Gunderson putting his back up against the cage. You never do that, you know? Or he should bait him and then throw that again, that big overhand right. Because the left hand from Lozon is, is a little low all the time. So maybe you can connect with that. Two men making their World Series of Fighting debut tonight. John Guns Gunderson in the red trunks taking on Dan Lozon. And he can't snap those kicks off now. If uh, Lausanne can't finish this fight, this will be the first win that he couldn't finish. Because all of his other wins, he finished uh, his opponents. Almost half of his victories coming by way of TKO. And John Gunderson certainly looks susceptible to being number 10. Here tonight in the first round, but he has fought back. Scoring his points where he can, but again, trying to figure out how to get inside the reach of Dan Lozon. Is it also me? Doesn't look Dan Lozon much bigger oh, yeah. than Gunderson? Looks like he's a different weight class almost. The lightweight division. Boom, and again, that elbow. I like that elbow. Like it's almost like a front kick, but then with your, with your arm. And then he changed angle again now. He made it into kind of a hook. Ooh, there's some, a heart. There's yeah, he some, rocked. oh, there's some anger on the end of those gloves and knees. Yep, he got rocked. Big left. Again, a flying knee. And he knows. He's got a minute and a half to see if he can wrap it up here. Can Lozon finish off Gunderson? Body shots. Back comes Gunderson with the left. Now he grows, goes for the single. He's got the arm in there. He's just waiting, feeling it up. Gunderson, it would be great if he can't take it to the ground. I do have the feeling, though, if it even goes to the ground, it goes on. It's going to reverse him. Go now, John. You got to go now, John. Here we go. Maybe for a guillotine here. Final 30 seconds of this fight. Nice to the body. Expect those. Ooh. Stomp to the body. Two right wow. hands to the body. Knee. Gunderson just trying to hold on. Comes out with a flurry. Lozon cocking that left hand, looking for an end. Wow. Final 10 seconds of this one. Dan Lozon continues to stalk Gunderson, but this one looks like it will go to the judges here in Las Vegas. Wow. So three rounds in the lightweight division, Dan Lozon and John Guns Gunderson. And this thing was all goes on, but Gunderson, he kept coming. He kept coming, you know, as one of those guys kept put easily away. Tough, tough guy, and he actually started, you know, connecting with some shots. But Dan Lausanne was just too good.
But we send it to the judges and the official decision, and we send it inside the cage and Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the judges once again give us a unanimous decision. All of three judges score the about 30-27 for your winner. Fighting out of the blue corner, Dan Laza. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No. 